With Netanyahu plastered all over TV this Sunday, the propaganda war on Gaza tilts in Israel's favor. And Bibsy wants us to swallow the lie that it's Hamas, not Israel, that's targeting civilians. If you're concerned about civilian lives, it's not because of Israel. Israel is not targeting a single civilian. Hold it. You're targeting apartments, hospitals, parks, and UN schools. Last I checked, all usually filled with civilians. It's Hamas that wants to have Palestinian civilians killed, and it's Hamas that should be squarely blamed. If that's true, then you're complicit for committing the actual killing. For with 1,000 civilians in Gaza's open-air prison already dead, and its only power plant bombed out of commission, what Israel is doing is immoral. Netanyahu claims that Hamas is using civilians as human shields. But no fighters were with the children playing in the park the Jews shelled. No terrorists were tending pregnant women in the hospitals the Jews bombed. And no fighters were teaching children in the UN school the Jews dumped a deadly missile on. What do Jews care about human shields? They're Arabs. They're not Jews. For when faced with an enemy with a disregard for any life that's not a Jewish life, what hope do the people of Gaza really have? Their plight was decided decades ago when Ben-Gurion and Moshe Dayan mapped out the seizure of the entire land of Palestine. No Israeli leader since has deviated from that plan. A partial Jewish state is only the beginning, said Ben-Gurion. Dayan followed with, We'll create a new map extending from the Jordan to the Suez Canal. That includes Gaza. Besides oceanfront prime real estate, there's gas fields to be gained. That's why Netanyahu insists on the demilitarization of Gaza, not just Hamas. What we need is demilitarization uh, of Gaza uh, and uh, alongside economic and social relief for the people of Gaza. Tom Mudik doublespeak. He's the master of the con. We're now witnessing the demilitarization of Gaza and alongside is not the relief of the people but their slaughter. Demilitarization or redeeming the land, whatever you want to call it, means the evacuation of the Gazans into the urban centers and giving them a choice, either die or flee to Egypt. An American Jewry is complicit in all of this. Every Jewish senator on Capitol Hill voted for Israel's recent assault on Gaza, even Rand Paul, who's been groveling for the Jewish vote. For if getting the Jewish vote means a disregard for any life that's not a Jewish life, then Christian morality has died and America will not survive.